Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another voiceover. I actually really enjoy doing these. I'm here today looking crazy, about to demonstrate how I do my bentonite clay mask, or also known as the Indian clay mask, which is the product I'm using. So I've shown you what you would need, a bowl, a plastic spoon, do not use metal because it will draw out the toxins in the, in the mask. So you need to use plastic. So yeah, I add these three huge spoons into a bowl because I have a big head. And I add that amount of apple cider, vinegar. You can also use water if you want. And I'm just trying to show you like the consistency and how it should look at this point. So yeah. So after mixing that in really well it was very plumpy as you can see and this is not this is far from the texture you want so do not stop here what you'll do now is add a little bit more apple cider vinegar or water and then continue mixing and this is how it should look like a creamy yogurt kind of texture not that hard lumpy rocks things and there is a little bit of lumps in it, but that's okay. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be smooth. It's only going on your hair. So next, I part in my hair into four sections. And this is where my clips come in, my hair bands, because I didn't have four clips. So I had three, two clips and one hair band. <laughs> And here, I'm just going to dampen my hair with my spray bottle, with my mist spray bottle. It's not the normal one. So, the idea is to get your hair as damp or as wet as possible. Some people do this after they finish washing their hair. But for my hair, personally, it would have been too much stress on my hair. Which is why I did it a few days after my wash, which is my previous video. Go check it out if you haven't. So what I did here, I divided the first section into two so that I can just work in smaller sections. And as you can see, the mask is making my hair very straight and that's because of my texture. And that I have free C hair, which I do, which is why the mask is very straight on my hair. But in some areas, it's also curly. So I'm just smoothing the mask in my hair, making sure that I've touched every single strand, don't miss out strands, and just evenly distributing it. It's a little bit tangled because I put a hairband and a clip together, so yeah, got caught. So here I go again, adding more water into my hair, and I'm gonna divide this section into two again, into a smaller section just so that I can really get the mask in because it's been a while that I've done this mask. I do this mask maybe like once every six months because of my hair texture. Your hair texture may require for more, but because I don't want this to loosen up my curls too much, so I only do it twice a year, which is every six months. Because as much as this mask defines your curls, it also loosens, well, my curls, I should speak for myself, it um, loosens my curls a little bit more. And I don't want straight hair, I like my curls. Before you know it, I'll be like, my hair texture will be one. I don't want that. So I do limit how many times I do this mask, but it does an, an amazing job, amazing job. So this is me finishing the first section of my hair. As you can see, some of it is curly, some of it is straight. That's just my texture of my hair. It's not damaged at the back. My hair is perfectly healthy. It does need a trim, but that doesn't destroy the fact that it goes straight and curly. <laughs> 
so yeah i continued doing the rest of my hair off camera and i came back to my last section and here i'm going to show you how i do it just a little bit more detail so i sectioned the hair again add my spray water and then i go on top and then i add some at the bottom and then i run my fingers through then i then separate that little section that i did again okay that wasn't necessary at that point so you'll see what i mean again anyway you'll see you'll see you'll see <laughs> so i add it at the top add it at the bottom run my fingers through add some at the end when necessary okay again it probably wasn't necessary for me to open it up again <laughs> again add it at the top add it at the bottom run my fingers through add some at the bottom add some clay mask at the bottom and on the ends this is what i meant by i open it up because the other two sections were so small i didn't need to open it up like that but that's what i did now you can see my hair is bone straight and I'm black, I'm fully black. I'm not mixed with anything. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> I'm talking ancestry wise, guys. <laughs> my mom, my dad is black. Don't worry, I know my parents. <laughs> so I put my hair in these two little pink ponytails or whatever they're called. And booyah, I'm joking. <laughs> I play too much, but look at my curls, guys. They are popping. The things that are flying around is water is still a little bit wet i did not use any shampoo i literally just washed my hair washed the clay out of my hair and this is how it came out like my curls have not been this good in a long time and that's because i haven't done this mask in a long time i do need a trim i do have some split ends i was showing you guys my damaged um part because i did this hairstyle which um required me straightening the front so yeah, so over here, right, I'm kind of just showing you guys my edges, what I'm working with, my hair now, like this hairline of mine is genetic, my sister's got it, my, yeah, my mom's got it, it my cousin has it, is genetic, this hairline, I mean, it's not that big of a problem, but as you can see, it is thinning, and I'm trying to avoid it, like, I don't want it. I'm sorry, I don't want it. <laughs> so these are the oils I'm using from America. Even though my previous in my intro video I did say I'll be using UK products, but if I'm able to get it in the UK, then you are too. So don't worry about that. The owner is super nice, super friendly. Customer service is amazing. The company is called Bear Your Hair on instagram go check her out it's amazing people for alopecia as well she specializes in that and yeah so i'm going in with coconut oil in my hair in all the sections of my hair and everyone knows like coconut is a coconut oil was amazing like it has so many benefits i'll list a few on the screen which i probably already did and I'm just showing you guys my curls, like how they're popping. So what I did here, I literally just changed the lids so that it's more applicable to my hair, to my scalp and all of that stuff. And yeah, I'm just going to um, keep, keep quiet now and let you guys watch because everything else is, you can see it. I don't have to explain every single thing. But if you want me to, then I will. But, you know. <laughs> so when I moisturize my hair with oils, I'm just going to put this in there. I do um, separate my hair just so... Oh, baby. Just so um, I can really get in there and I'm not missing any spots but my curls are actually popping yes i need a trim i know that's why the ends are just a tad bit frizzy because i need a trim i've never like the last time i had a trim was god knows when i will also put the benefits of this oil i know it's like peppermint 
is it peppermint <laughs> peppermint as well i know it's like peppermint um scents and i believe it's got castor oil in it i'll put it on the screen somewhere don't worry about that So yes, this is me nearly done on the last section, sectioning my hair, I mean twisting my hair up, applying the coconut oil, applying the bare your hair oil, peppermint oil, peppermint castor oil. And this is me just showing you the damaged part from the hairstyle that I was doing quite a while ago. I need to cut it off but I'm not ready to so it's going to stay as it is. So yes guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I promise next video I will not come on looking crazy. I'll be all done up, baby. So stay tuned for that. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment down anything you want to see. Because I want to make this a fun channel as well as an informative channel. So yeah, let me know anything like anything exciting if you've got any questions about hair i can do a q a about natural hair just let me know down in the comment section below or follow me on my socials in the description box below bye see you next